Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today's chat, Triumph. I've had a few Triumphs, but this is a Sprint ST. I had the GT videos on my channel. I've had a few Tigers, again, videos on my channel. I've had a Daytona and then a Mark One ST. This is a 2008 model. These ones came out in 2005. Now, it's a 1050cc engine, synthetic 1040 oil, um, general tyres, 120, 180, stuff like that. Only 125 brake, and that's not a mega lot, but do you know what? When you open this baby up, you do feel it. And there's obviously lots of extras you can get for these tuning, different exhausts. But all round, they're not bad little bikes. They ride quite well. You can do two up. You've got luggage with this one. You've got panniers. Let's have a quick look round. From the front, very nice looking. I do like the old indicators in the wind mirrors. I also like the triple light here at the front. The outside lights are your main and the middle light is your high beam. Usual 120 by 70 by 17 front wheel. Double brakes as well, disc either side. Six speed gearbox, goes through them quite well to be honest with you. Someone's put a complete bar here. I mean, I've not seen two before, but hey, crash bungs, you can't have enough of them, can you really? This very, very nice triple exhaust. I've seen a few that have put a single in here and I've seen a quad one before. That looked a nut, I've got to say. But it's nicely under there as well. It's very beautiful single arm rear suspension on here that shows the back wheel. Just looks beautiful. A 180 by 55 by 17 on the rear. Again, the old double crash bungs. Now the seat, I've got to say, very comfortable. When you open this baby up, your butt nicely pushes here i suppose if you're quite tall you are going to get pushed against it but me 5'8 short ass works really well not all have this big rack on the back but let's support these panniers it's funny all panniers seem to get marks on them don't they i think we store them in the garage and you get knocked around a little bit these ones also have inside carry bags that was an optional extra and i bet it was a few quid heated grips on this one Ram out for the old phone, I guess we're sat now bits and bobs. The dash is quite good. We'll have a look at that when I start it up in a second. Normal controls, indicators, horn, high beam, and your pass. Adjustable clutch, start, stop, adjustable brake lever. A little pocket, a little pocket in here. This normally actually goes under the seat. Hmm. For a little while I looked around to try and find the old little key to put in here but unfortunately to get the rear seat off you have to pull here and then get these two allen keys to get it up and out. Impressive really, key would have been nice wouldn't it? I suppose it's for the toolkits in there. But 20 litre tank, do between 40 and 50 miles to the gallon depending on how you ride it. Dry weight, wet weight, well, 210, 240. They're not that heavy compared to some of the big heavy bikes I've rode, um, but probably heavier than the old little Jexas and your ZX 10s and etc. Now getting back to the brake horsepower, 125 brake. I expected it to be a lot higher. When I opened this up, it did want to go, if I'm really honest with you. Compared to little um, 600 Jexas with a 96 brake, and then they go up and up, you know, up to 130, 140s for the other 10s. Um, I was quite surprised, but it does go really well i have to say handles very well as well alarm data tool triumph seem to like having the data tool alarms all these so you've got to press it wait for the injections to come in Sometimes feel triumph. They've got some new guys in and they thought triple exhaust, triple lights, let's do some really clever things here. A video up and coming of me riding this little bike. 
and get some uh, information while I do a little vlog. But all round, yeah, not a bad bike. And you can get a lot for your money, if I'm honest with you. 2008 model, about £3,000. Bloody alarm. Comes free though. <laughs> and you can get back boxes and all sorts for these. Um, I've seen a couple, as I said earlier, where they put a single exhaust in. I'd rather the uh, quad. That sounded nice. I say it's not got a little bad grunt to it. Is it as comfortable as my little Tiger 800? Absolutely not. I've been riding these adventure style bikes for quite some time now. And I suppose I've got used to the up sitting of them. You know, nice comfortable seat, amazingly soft suspension. Um, so when I got on there, I had to lift my legs right up in the air. This felt a little bit, I've got the sake, I've been riding these for a long, long time now. Um, but the plus is the acceleration, um, the sportiness and the smile factor was great. These, you have to keep them some to get them where they want to go. But you've got the wind protection and everything else and you're not feeling every single bump on the road. So there's pros and cons to every single bike. Will I keep my little Tiger? Yes, I will. So, on that note, keep my Tiger. Have a little bit of fun on that over the summer months. And there's a really quick little review. As I said, next one I'll go for a little ride on it. And thank you so much for staying with me. 9,300 subscribers now, 2.5 odd million views, and over 430 videos. So there's something for everybody on my channel now. Sorry for my subbies that um, often ask where my videos are. I've just not had much to look at, to be honest with you. People want silly money for the price of the bikes. Um, they're not that good and they've got lots of problems wrong with them and I'm just not interested in that and getting my hands dirty well I still enjoy that um, but I've been playing in the uh, garage with my weights and so on so anyway take care of yourselves on the road sun's coming out soon enjoy yourselves hi Mark Savage here welcome to my channel today's chat Triumph ST Enjoy these STs, Sports Tourer, Great Tourer for the GT, Grand Tourer. Someone has put the complete bar on here for the old sliders. This very, very beautiful mono side ex. What the fuck have I done with the key? Took the key out and got no idea what I did with it. Fucking <clears throat> little pocket fuses. And a tall box in here. 125. <sighs> alarm, data tool. Triumph seems to like having the data tool alarms all these. So you've got to press it. riding it um, go 800 absolutely not a little ride on it and thank you so much for staying with me I'm sorry for the guys that take care of yourselves on the road sun's coming out soon enjoy yourselves <laughs>